Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer. So I'm doing the special spoilers, spoilers, review of the first, of basically BoJack Horseman. And I'm doing this at the request of actually one of my former classmates and Ryder University Alternative Films Club exec board members, um, Chichilia, and I'm like, you know what? I love Bojack. She happened to notice that I have a Bojack Horseman Funko right behind my head while I'm doing these reviews. I love Bojack Horseman. It's one of my favorite shows ever. And what I love the most, and actually before I get ahead of myself, this will be spoilers. I'm going to talk about my general feelings about the show's show, and then I'm going to wave my hands in front of the screen to help me remember where to put up a spoiler warning later and then we'll talk about spoilers for the show i'll talk about characters big moments how i feel this film and the show has progressed over the five seasons a lot to talk about but in general i love bojack horseman this is it's not like breaking bad where it's like there's this guy dying of cancer he starts selling drugs because he's a chemist that show sells wow that's a great idea that could be a great show this is a show about an anthropomorphic horse that's animated, who used to be a sitcom star, It's kind of an asshole, and it's like, that doesn't scream one of the greatest TV shows ever, but it is. That is my opinion, you could take that wherever you'd like it, but I love, 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 love BoJack Horseman. Raphael Bob Wakesburg, who created this show, is a genius. How he is able to come up with this idea, this tone, the ability of this show to do so many things and be so many things all at once while being a cohesive, it's like, this is BoJack. This is a BoJack Horseman episode. You know the show based off of what the feelings are. It, see, it doesn't take things lightly. It really hits on real heavy issues. Does commentaries on really important things. While also making some horrendously amazing animal puns and ridiculousness ensues in the most well-crafted, one of the most well-written shows I've ever watched. This show has so much emotional depth. This is, like, if you binge a whole season of this, you will be emotionally drained by the end of, like, honestly, there's single episodes where you feel emotionally drained because it's like, there's so much packed into some of these episodes and what these the show deals with. And you feel legitimately devastated based off of some of the reveals that happen in the show. The themes it deals with, this idea of stardom, or this isolation of dealing with mental illness. Because basically, this whole entire show feels like Bojack is some characterization, some embodiment of the idea of depression. Where it's like, you always cycle back, you feel like you have this mania, you think things are going great, and then you plunge to these depths so deep that you never think you could ever get out. And that is Bojack. It's this vicious cycle. And you would think, that gets boring after a while. No, it, it really doesn't. And it's so hard because you're so drawn into the show, feeling like, Maybe things will finally start going right. And then he messes it up. And can he really help it? He's so self-destructive. And everything about this show really sells how powerful that is. This deals with so much of drug addiction. That idea of dealing with stardom. This idea, the ideas of different kinds of sexuality. Deals with being asexual. And I haven't seen a whole lot of things really take that on and really make that something to be proud of. It deals with politics and the complete absurdity of our political system and how things work. 
and celebrity celebrity is one of the biggest things that go on here and then all that insider dealings with like compromising your craft as an artist trying to become really like i want to win awards i want people to take me seriously do you care about that adulation or do you care about the craft you're actually doing and then racial issues stereotypes and all these different things and relationships oh, some of the things this film this show deals with relationships on is unbelievable in terms of toxic relationships abuse emotional abuse and not knowing there's emotional abuse or getting so lost in a relationship and not knowing how to dig yourself out or telling yourself it's okay to leave it behind after everything you've put through and every happy moment you've been through with somebody but do all those happy moments add up to something that could overcome the daily negativity that and the stress that's brought into both of your lives because of this relationship this show deals with all those things with horse people and like Quentin Tarantula Latino and Ethan Hawke who's a hawk and stupid stuff like that and there being a main character who's a lab and he's a dog he's a dog and his name is Mr. Peanut Butter because that is something that you would name your dog or a cat named Princess Carolyn because you would name your cat that you would but balancing all those different kinds of things the characters have so much depth and they've grown so much and you learn so many new things about them Bojack is fascinating he is one of the most fascinating characters ever put in a TV show with the emotional baggage that he's been through in his life between him at the time of compromising his friendships or taking like getting absorbed by the celebrity and never growing out of it or never being able to be happy and accepting happiness and always trying to destroy everything in his life that is trying to bring happiness to it and then Diane who's this young woman who's really trying to make a difference and being placed in situations where she has to compromise that to be successful either you're in a success or you stick to your guns and in her relationships this toxicity between her and Bojack this long-standing is like can they really be a thing should they be a thing should they even be friends are they good to even be interacting with each other and her relationship with mr. peanut butter her marriage and what it really means in their marriage and I'm just getting whew, overwhelmed thinking about all of the show and Todd who Aaron Paul is great as Todd Chavez and seems like such a goofy character but deals with so many things and coming to grips with who he really is and Mr. Peanut Butter who seems like nothing but optimism but on some level is so selfish and really cannot empathize with others and trying to figure out why all of his relationships don't work season five in particular ripped so many layers open for so many of these characters princess carolyn why keep going back to bojack why sticking with bojack why her career why is she pushing so hard for her career can she really be happy in a relationship have a family and balancing that that is such a real thing of finding that work-life balance and she embodies that so well the humor is fantastic whether it's gross out humor ridiculous puns and play on words all the animal jokes you could possibly think of or just the situational bits everything works so well this show it takes a few episodes for it to really kick in the first season feels a little it's good it's funny but it doesn't feel like here and then boom it shoots through the ceiling and really captures what it really is the commentary on all these different things that it talks about as I mentioned throughout this on celebrity on Hollywood on government on relationships 
how it really looks in on topical events like violence in relationships, abuse um, to women, the Me Too movement being dealt with in this show, everything and anything, basically. And then coming down to the sinking outside the box, it's like, how can a show be so amazing in an episode be so amazing of just a eulogy? Or a whole entire episode underwater where you can't hear anything and what that represents in terms of dealing with different kinds of people is impeccable the visuals this show is amazing it looks amazing the animation the color everything the sh framing of everything how they drew it those are my general thoughts on how great this show is and if I haven't sold you Really give this a chance. Get through that first season and keep going. Let this film... I, I keep saying film. I'm so used to reviewing movies on my channel. I don't do a whole lot of TV show stuff. Let this show really, really come in. Let it in. Take a chance on the show. And really let this take you on a journey. Now, spoilers. So if you want to stop now and stop watching... And go check this out. I'm going to talk about some spoilers. What Bojack has been through in this show, from the start where he wants the ghost write, have his write his um, biography. That's how he meets Diane. She's going to ghost write it. Their relationship. The flashbacks to when he had his friend Herb Kazaz and Charlotte, and what those relationships meant to him. And looking back and realizing he could had a really happy relationships or could he would he have always thrown them away taking on celebrity and letting that absorb him and then him always feeling like maybe I made the wrong choice in trying to go back and find them and did it really work and finding those people again or trying to reconnect did that really work did he burn those bridges too much? His relationship with Sarah Lynn, the young woman who was a little girl on the TV show he did, who, she's a drug addict. She's trying to get over all of this celebrity and stuff like that. And Bojack is such a bad influence on her. And she's a bad influence on him. And what that leads to, when she, there's a whole entire weird, crazy episode where it's just drug hallucinations, basically. The episode ends, she's dead. She ODs. And, oh, like, heart ripped out watching that episode and being like, holy shit, this show hits so hard. And, how, like, how does Bojack live with that? His whole entire arc of trying to be secretariat, wanting to be taken seriously, and realizing like he really can't do it. And then they CGI him and crap like that. And then he like goes up for like Oscars and stuff like that, or trying to win an Oscar for it, and trying to find that adulation that he thinks is gonna make him whole when it's not. His failed relationships, his ongoing thing with Diane of whether it's like, and Princess Carolyn, are they real relationships for each other? Should they even be together? Should they even interact with each other? Is Bojack even good for anybody? Oh, dealing with his mother. And that episode where in the most recent season, she passes away and the whole entire episode is just his eulogy of her. Which has one of the most amazing Bojack gags when he goes to the end of that episode, opens up and realizes it's not his mother's funeral. And looks at it like, oh, this isn't the Horseman one, is it? And you look at the audience, nobody there looks like they would have, they're like, they're like lizards or something, I'm trying to remember. But it's just like, that is such a Bojack thing. The emotional abuse that he got from his family... And then him realizing that he might have a daughter, Hollyhock, and then turning out to be his sister, and what that did to him. Bojack goes through such a journey, these ebbs and flows, most recent season where things get so heated with him and Diane, toxic, and 
the biggest thing blowing up is when he visits Charlotte and disappears and goes to, I think it's New Mexico. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. It's either New Mexico or Arizona and sees her. And she refuses him. And him in such a bad emotional state. And this young woman, her daughter, coming on to him because she's a young girl and doesn't really understand. And what could have happened if Charlotte didn't walk in. And you thinking about what if Bojack done it. And that's brought up again in this most recent season and Diane throws it in his face. And him having some kind of psychotic break, honestly, which was a really interesting episode in this new season, cutting back and forth between him thinking he's in the show he's in and what's going on in reality, and him almost strangling his girlfriend and co-star, and Diane throwing that in his face and trying to bring him down, because, and a nice way to segue into talking about Diane she always feels like she needs to have something to say and needs to make a difference. And in this most recent season, her target's Bojack. And trying to show that Bojack is a horrible person and trying to honestly create something off of that. And if he feels betrayed, and he should. But the thing is, she's doing the right thing because Bojack's done some horrible things and she does call him out. Like, what? Well, you would have done it. Would he? And that's one of the most interesting questions. Diane is a very interesting character, and I'm not going to lie, me personally, I don't like her a certain amount of certain times where it's just like, ah, I really hated what you did there. And, but her relationship with Mr. Peanut Butter, wow, that episode when he gives her a library, this big, elaborate gesture, which she hates. He never really thinks about or empathizes, thinks about what makes her happy. It's what he thinks would make him happy. And the conversation that they have is one of the most real, brutal, and raw conversations in this whole entire show that really captures dying relationships so well. And this is such a powerful show. And then you have Princess Carolyn who it's like that has this toxic relationship with Bojack and at every moment does she choose to go higher with her job or really care about a potential happy future I forgot his I'm if, I don't know if you guys know I'm not very good with character names so I'll write notes and stuff and I completely forgot to put down this mouse's name that she has this on and off relationship with and they seem like they could have something beautiful and she pushes him away. I wonder if I feel like it's Ralph. I don't know if that's because it's like Ralph S. Mouse. But he is such a great guy and could be so good for her. And she just pushes him away. And one of the best, funniest gags is her boyfriend, adult man, who's just like three kids in a trench coat who goes to work at the business factory. And she's so blinded by wanting to have a relationship to basically rub Bojack's face, she doesn't realize it's just a couple of kids on the, each other's shoulders in a trench coat. Ridiculous. The show's ridiculous. So ridiculous. So many ridiculous things. But the underlying themes of everything are so poignant and powerful. Mr. Peanut Butter and his lack of empathy and he seems like such a nice guy and everything but and he genuinely might be trying to be a nice guy but he feels like he's unable to connect with people and realize what really is going to make them happy and how to interact with people and there's one episode told through the scope of Halloween parties in this most recent season season five was fantastic and how they fleshed out so many characters and you finally realize what's really wrong with his relationships and maybe he's finally found one that can work maybe he found his match but he's always trying to just be him and not think about what his partner needs and expecting them to be becoming him on his level what he wants what makes him happy and not really what's going to make them happy and then Todd Todd's such a fun goofy character but God, when Bojack calculatingly sabotages him 
being able to be successful with this op like space rock opera that he's writing sabotages him so that Todd won't leave him was one of the most first emotionally devastating parts in the show and that's what you realize what this show's capable of in that moment and Todd realizing trying to find himself and realizing he's asexual and really dealing with that as a character point and him dealing with that in this show showing so much respect for that there's so many other things I could talk about this show those are some of the things that really stick out to me in terms of these characters and what's going on with the show please go check out Bojack Horseman it's on Netflix there's 13 episodes they're like 25 minutes a piece there's five seasons you'll blow through this quick because you'll get caught up I burned through every season in like two days and I gotta wait over a year for another one and I'm just like oh, why did I do that but I couldn't stop watching it's that intriguing it's that engrossing check out Bojack Horseman this is an amazing show thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland reviewer